What do you reckon that intro, huh? Do 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 do. Huh? Fucking right. You like that? You like? I don't care if you like it. I like it. So <laughs> I thought I'd do like a little series. So um, the top ten most difficult locks to pick. Yeah. Well, I'm even more specific. It's going to be the top ten most difficult five to seven curtain mortise locks to pick. So basically, ones you're going to see on front and back doors, domestic, commercial properties. All right. So obviously, number ten being the easiest one to pick. Number one being the most difficult one to pick, based on my opinion. If you have a different one. Congratulations. So, um, yeah, this is my list. This is what I think is the top 10. Again, you could go further than that, obviously. But again, I'm looking at ones you're more likely to see. All right. Uh, so, I did have two for the number 10 spot, but I chose this one because, again, it's uh, more popular than the other one all right so the lock we're going to be looking at is going to be the union okay uh the union 2101 or the union 2201 they're basically the same fucking thing right so we're going to be looking at locks like this and they will all have like a little indent in the front that is like a funny stupid shaped lever okay that there's a few versions of them. Again, you can get Yale ones and stuff like that. They've all got the same marking on the front, look. This one here. All right. But I'm calling it for the Union, all right? It's going to be the Union. The other lock that I was thinking of, which is very similar to this, is the, the old yellow leggy. Now, there's two versions. Well, maybe more now, but there's two. And they're completely different, right? Um, I think it's the uh, the 1645, something like that. It's basically got very similar levers to this. Um, and it picks basically the same way. But you don't see many of them, right? You can see more of the unions. So, why is this my number 10 on the list? Well, because they're fucking piss easy to open, okay? Yes, it's a five lever lock. Yes, it's got a curtain in it. Um, obviously, it's not British Standard. Um, but it doesn't have any anti-pick notches. It doesn't have any false gates on this lock. Right? Just the same as the the old laggy. That, that's the same thing. Now, there's lots of non-curtain locks. I'm not all about them. We're talking about these ones here, all right? So, yeah, this is my number 10 on the list. Um, so, it's the Union 2101 or the Union 2201. Doesn't make a difference. They're gonna pick the same way. Now I will take it apart and show you in a minute. But there is no anti-pick notches in it. There's no false gates, so you can't really go wrong with it. The only thing you can mess up is if you overlift it slightly, and even then you can ease off the tension and drop the fucking thing back down. All right. So let's get this picked. See, now look at that. That won't turn there. Now. I've got, obviously I've got a few of these, and I've, I've adapted a couple of them, right? And you shouldn't have to do that. Now, obviously I use this curtain pick, it's the RB1, right? Um, I use it quite a bit. I don't use it exclusively, you know, I do use other ones. But, you know, there isn't, there isn't a curtain pick out at the minute where I can honestly say, yes, I can take that to the door, and I don't have to alter it or alter something you know, to make it work perfectly. This isn't one that does that, right? Yeah, this is a good tool. But when you think about it, if, if um, I don't know how to explain Like, say you had um, you had a football game, right? And you, you were all picking teams. And there was four people left. And they were all fucking shit at football, right? Who are you going to pick? You're going to pick the one that is the least shittest at football, you know? And that's basically what that is with, with this, right? All the curtain picks that I see... But they're no good. There's all, all they all need changing, but this one is the least shittest. Then, if we want to put it that way, all right? Um, but I um, I've been looking into possibly making my own. 
because there's, there's about three or four things that would need changing on that to make it absolutely perfect and it would work on every single door and every single lock right but yeah i may look into that so no anti-pick notches so you know and again it's a good lock to start with because uh unless it's really old if it's um rested up and, and the key's not working but if you get a tidy one then you're gonna get a nice binding order on it and it's a really nice lock to actually start with uh, to learn the binding order and stuff like that right so uh what we're gonna do we're gonna put some tension on it i'm gonna come lift lever one again lift it until uh the resistance stops so you get a little bit of give a little bit of freedom there lever two lever three four five I'm going to come back to lever one, two, three, four, five. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to slightly nudge them up every single time. You're going to feel movement on your tension arm. And on any other lock, you've probably gone into a false gate or anti-pick. You then have to reset it. There's no anti-picks on this. So if you're getting any movement on your tension arm, it doesn't make a difference. It's probably a good thing because it's probably just sliding in to the gate. No, it is a good thing because it is sliding into the gate. So here we go. Another little nudge. And that lock is now open. All right, there's the key bitten on it. Yeah. So let's get another one. I'll put that by there. I'll take that apart in a minute. There's another one. Same thing. There's the key bitten on that. If you want to get a good lock that will overlift, you're looking right at it. Because this thing will overlift. I can put probably nearly every single one of them. No, not every single one. Most of them will overlift though. Okay, we're gonna run through. We're going to lift. Anything that wants to be lifted. To a point and the lock is going to open. There's no skill involved there. I'm literally just lifting everything that I can feel and it's going to go, right? Um, let's get one more. I know this isn't the union, but just to show you it'll work the same way now again what i mentioned earlier the worst thing you can do on it would be to possibly overset one um i'll try and recreate that on this lock right so what i'm doing here see lever one not binding yet some of these locks will go in and every single one of them will bind not in any order some of them will have a binding order so you'll have to specifically go and look for it but again, look at this, there's no skill involved in here. All I'm doing is finding the lever, right? And I'm lifting it until it becomes free. Or until I get a bit of movement on my tension arm. A little bit there, which is nice. And again. All right, lever two is stiff. Okay, so I'm at a point now where nothing else seems to want to go. Nothing's happening. So I've probably overset one, so what I'm going to do, ease off my tension. See the bolt going in. So what it did, it overset one, eased off the tension, and it dropped back in. Nice and easy. So... Uh, let's take this one apart then, just to show you. Now you do need quite a bit of tension because uh, when you start lifting them, uh, you're gonna feel quite a heavy tension because the levers are basically facing the wrong way around. We actually have the springs at the front here and most other locks, the springs are on the back. So if you come in a little bit, to there we can see the springs here look and we're lifting on this part when you're lifting it it's quite stiff to lift because you're right by the spring if you was lifting it from there it'd be easier right but by here 
we'll put a little bit more force on it. So let's have a look at these levers, right? There's lever one. Again, it's sitting in the fucking gate. You just have to do nothing to that. Lever two. Again, there's no false gates or anything on these. Number three. Lever four. And lever five. But again, how can you mess this up? You could overlift it and end up by here. Yeah, what you do, ease off, it'll drop down into the gate all right so number 10 on my list is this piece of shit um <laughs> no it's all right it's all right good practice lock though good to start off with um but yes the union um the 2101 and the 2201 like i say there are other versions but that's what we're calling it all right i'm out bye bye